you came to Christ at the age of seven and started preaching soon thereafter, but started preaching full time around 14 or 15. Correct. How did you come to know that that was your calling at such a young age? My decision was made in the Salvation Army Church because I was in a foster home, children's home. Mm -hmm. um, I begin to admire the power in which the pastor would speak and the good things that they do in the society. And there was always an inner voice speaking to me that that's what I need to be. So every time someone pretty much asks me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I always say a pastor. There was one youth Sunday when the preacher didn't show up in church and the youth director said, you have to preach today. And pretty much um, I preached. I just went, you know, um, went to the vestry, did some reflection, made a little notes, and I preached. And after that, I have been asked to preach so many places because I was young and um, evidently the church felt that there was a calling. And so that is how my preaching ministry began. Now you do a lot of work with youth and I know your upbringing, you were in church from the time you were a child basically, but you have a lot of youth that have never experienced church. They don't know the ways of God. How do you encourage them to come into the church or how to get to know God? I was so passionate as a child that I wanted to talk to everybody about God. So on the streets, wherever I saw persons, I just shared Jesus with them. And so I think by the age of 16, maybe I was like on the youth executive. Um, I would invite young people in the community to church, other teens, and they would come. What makes the fundamental difference is the dependence on the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit gives you what to say. The Holy Spirit takes control of that moment. Some of us, we have been through to people of our religious culture, people who are going through stuff, people who are demon-possessed. But the Holy Spirit in, in, inspire you what to say. And once you're so prayerful about that ministry, it makes a difference. And so that's what a lot of young people in the Caribbean are doing. And so pretty much the Caribbean is doing very, very well um, in terms of ministry. Um, when you came to know Christ, you were in foster, foster care? Yes, I was not raised with my mother and father. Well, one of the things that stands out in my mind throughout my journey, um, living in foster care, um, and going to the different churches. For me, the church was always my greatest source of empowerment. Um, when, I didn't fe when I feel victimized and neglected at the home and, 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 and that lack of sense of belongingness, there was always a place where I felt where I belong and that was the church. That was where I found love. That was where I found the compassion. That was where I saw goodness. That was where I saw role models. And I think being on the flip side, and that's why I believe it, no matter if you weren't raised with your mother or father, you can make it under God. One there is a connection to Christ mm -hmm. and so that connection to Christ and that connection to the church and also the opportunities that the church provide putting you before a microphone at age 15 because I must commend the Jamaica Baptist Union um, for the opportunities that they have given to me in Jamaica to lead without wanting to know who my mother is or who my father is, without being concerned about my social and economic status, just seeing abilities and giving me the opportunity to go to different world conferences and regional conferences and meeting people from different nations, those things help to build me and that's what the church can do. So, you know, if you permit me to even say something to young people, they, if you can't find hope anywhere else, you can find it in the church. Whether you just come out of jail, whether you're in foster home, whether you feel um, neglected by your own parents, you can find the love and hope in the church. I say to people all the time that, you know, I miss my mom during my, my, my years of growing up, um, although she lives here in the U.S. now and there's that connection, but there were always great women in the church 
who took me like their own sons. And I felt like I had so many mothers and so much love. And so if you can't find it any, the, the love and the empowerment anywhere, even if the church have 10 people in that neighborhood, the church is the place where you can find hope and empowerment. I have a doctorate today. All of what I have become today is because of that connection of Christ, which was facilitated through the church.